Welcome ladies and gentlemen, quick video on the anniversary event and just crafting rich in general How you can make a buttload of money without a lot of effort actually so These are all crafting rich that I'm handing in and for each of them I also get the anniversary box And you can do that on as many characters in your account as you want So that's a lot of potential boxes that you might get now the crafting rits itself actually also give you a lot of materials. But the boxes can also include motifs that will sell for thousands of gold. I will I usually don't sell them immediately, I usually sell them towards the end of the year so they get more expensive again, because now the market is flooded. I do this every year during the event and I do this on my free accounts on two PCs so I actually can speed up the process a little bit because we gotta go through all the characters. And now there's also a free to play event so the loading times are a little bit slow sometimes. Anyway, make sure to check out eso-hub.com. I also wrote an article about all the new things that will come with the Blackwood chapter. Console will get an enhanced version finally on June 8. It's great. And the companion system, you actually can slot skills, you can change the outfit and a lot more like Oblivion portals. Link in the description. Also make sure to check out alcoshq.com. There's a lot of builds on there and a lot of other useful information. If you need to know, let me actually check here. Can I turn on the loot log? Loot history. Yeah, okay, it should be on. There's also an add-on called Dolgobond's Lazy Rit Crafter, which auto picks all that stuff and crafts you the things. Though there is also now a console. It used to be a pain in the ass to do crafting rates, but now you can actually mark quest only and then it should also be fairly fast to craft these things. But still, that one helps a lot. I usually level up most of these on all of my characters if I can. For provisioning and alchemist, you actually have to put potions into the bank. So the character has to talk to the banker and get them out because it doesn't let you auto craft them with the add on. For whatever reason, I'm not sure. And it also auto despawns the banker afterwards, which is great. The reason why I park all my characters in Somerset is because of the crafting rits. It's the fastest way to do it for me, at least for me. A lot of some people are also in Morrowind, but yeah. <laughs> so let's pick these star these things up the cool thing about crafting rates is that you sometimes also get gold materials just for free like you can literally make several hundred thousand gold a day if you have like 18 characters and you do this every day obviously like i'm usually burnt out after two weeks of anniversary event but the cool thing is, during the anniversary event, you also get motifs that you can then sell later on. So it's like twice as effective as usual. But there is people that do this like every day the whole year. Because the crafting rates itself also give you a buttload of materials for free. Gold mats and so on. If you need a guide on the crafting stuff, like on Ezohub. Alchemy blacksmithing it's all here. You can click on it and then down here alchemy crafting rates We'll actually show you how to do the certification and where where you have to go, etc I would really recommend doing this on all characters because once again, it's It's literally free loot And it's not only like uh, Cheap things you can get like tempering alloys, drag wax, and so on. Let's do this round. <clears throat> this is a little bit of a scary character. Huh? Hmm. Okay, the loot log is on. Let's see. 
by the way the pts for blackwood will probably come very soon in like two three weeks once the pts is out i will cover all the new features like i always do but till then i'm probably gonna lay low a little bit because i need to optimize oxhq.com a little bit more So let's see what we get. Oh, something didn't work there, but hey, whatever. And then I usually just run them back to the board so they're already ready to go for the next day. Make sure to clear out your inventor inventory for this because you will get a lot of boxes. Yeah, you see, you just got the Kuta for free. And I usually also make sure to have all materials ready to go for the event. So I don't need to, so I don't get interrupted by like, oh, I don't have this material anymore. So now I need to go farm it. Nah, nah, nah. And you also can see when I motive, like, these are mostly from the event, I think. It's just so much that I will hoard till the end of the year and then sell it for good money. That way you don't really have to farm gold that much as long as you're ready to roll during the anniversary event. Let's do one more for the funsies. Pretty bad drops there, like I didn't get any drag wax or tempering or rosin. You can also get perfect draw or even that ethereal cipher stuff, which is almost worth a million each. Or the ethereal dust, I think it's called. There's so much juicy stuff in these uh, crafting rates. And obviously, you can just do this on one or two characters. It doesn't have to be like a full account. Like, most people also don't play with all of their characters each patch so you can actually park your characters that you don't really use at the moment in somerset and do the writs with them if your main characters has too too much things in your inventory you're always maxed out then you don't want to do it with them but maybe you have some other characters that you just parked on the side you don't need them anyway That's usually the case for me, that's why... I mean, when I usually... most I mostly play on the NA server. So both my EU accounts are just like idle. But during the event, I'm going for it. Of course, having ESO Plus also helps. Because you get a lot of materials. And a lot of other stuff like service and so on. So let's see if we get anything good out of these Ritz Iridium grains. Sure. The lazy Ritz add-on also auto loots all the boxes pretty much. Yeah, not really that exciting, huh? Hmm, too bad. Well, anyway. Nurcrox. Uh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, but you see where this is going. And of course, if you have a lot of characters, you get a lot of good loot for less, for like little work. That's pretty much it from me right now. Make sure to not forget to subscribe. You can also check out the Dwemer Automaton. All the links are in the description. It's a Discord bot with a lot of comments. Very nice. I do have Twitter, Facebook, we do have a Discord server. If you want to always stay up to date with the game, I would recommend joining. It also tells you when I'm live streaming on Twitch. So you can ask me questions while I'm streaming. And just a lot of other things when there is like new content coming out, etc. Instagram, here my YouTube channel. I do have a second YouTube channel where I upload past live streams. And just like short clips and so on. Yeah, there's a lot of things. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Cheers.